uh, now to something completely different. Um, we built a, a, a system for the pro, pros to be able to handle all their lesson and, and uh, group lessons because uh, we, we figured even the pros are getting a little more uh, into this uh, era uh, of the internet and, um, and listening to the players that they would actually like to book lessons online instead of having to call the pros uh, to, to, book, uh, to book a lesson. I can't see anything. There you are. Um, and and uh, so we actually had an old system, but we rewrote, uh, three years ago, we rewrote everything to build a, a brand new pro book, booking lesson that we can sell uh, worldwide. And, um, and this is uh, what we have done. So it can be used independently as, as the pros. Uh, they can have a, a driving range, or they can have a simulator, uh, but it works really, really good when uh, the pros are using golf box administration or the clubs are using golf box administration as well. So I'll show you uh, the, the system and I'll show you the integration into the, uh, to the golf box as well, where the players can go directly from, from the, the golf box into the pro planner and book whatever is available for, for the pros. So I'll do a little bit mix of, uh, of uh, our test system and also uh, on the live system where I have some pros uh, in my own club uh, that uses a system so I can show you how it's integrated. Um, it's a full system that can, that can uh, it does not do videos uh, and it does not do trackman uh, setup and every uh, trackman whatever integration because we think their software are better at that and we don't have to invent something that they're better at. Uh, but it does everything with handling the calendar of the pros uh, the group lessons and even if you have a track man you can you can schedule that and you can uh, make sure that it's not overbooked if you have lessons or uh, group lessons uh, that will be using that uh, there can be uh, payment involved so they book a lessons and they pay right away uh, i have to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure we made it with borgen yet but i think our payment engine is something that doesn't really have to do with the systems. So I think it's, uh, it's, it's uh, an option already. Um, and you can also choose not to have it. You can have value cards where the players will go in and uh, buy uh, maybe a value card of, of uh, 10,000 uh, kroner uh, and they can spend on, on different lessons or group lessons or whatever they want to, to spend it on. Um, so this is the main uh, area of, of the, the pro planner. And once you start up, there's a setup, there's a calendar, there's an economy, and there's some reports. And the important part starts in, in the setup area where you, um, where you set up your business unit. That's just a name. That's something you do one time. Um, you can say whether or not you have economy enabled. That means it sends out invoices to the customers when they, when they book. Uh, you can have automatic reminders. Uh, and say how many hours before do you want them to send out a reminder. It can, it's something you choose. I think for test I put one hour. I think 24 is something that's normal. 24 hours I get a text message uh, or an email actually. It's not a text message. Um, you can choose your financial year. If, if the pros in, in uh, Iceland are actually working from May to May in the financial year, that, well then you can choose that as well. Um, you have to set up your locations and in the different uh, license types we have the different options. We have a basis license that is one, one pro, one place, one location. Uh, we have a standard that are up to five pros and two locations and then we have advanced where you choose how many pros you have and how many uh, locations you have. Um, so in this, in this year I have uh, two places, I'm in Silkeborg and I'm in some other place. Um, and the pros can be uh, assigned to these locations depending on how and when they're working. So we can control all this in, in the setup. We'll have uh, staff set up. You can have a different kind of staff. You can have head pros, pro trainers, you can have clerks, and you can have others. Uh, clerks and others are not counted as, um, as part of the pros, so you can have as many uh, clerks and others to help you uh, booking if, if you, if you, for instance, only book through the shop, well then you have a clerk that's locked in uh, and they, the players can come and book through them. 
and the pro trainers and or the head pros they log in as pros uh, uh, and see their system. Um, each each pro will have an email. They can decide whether they want to receive emails from the system uh, when a lesson is created, uh, uh, when uh, when it's changed, when it's deleted. Uh, uh, and the best one, I think, for those because if you if you enable this and uh, you have uh, I don't know 20 bookings a day, then you get a lot of emails. So you can set it up. So I just want emails for this one day uh, that I'm uh, the current day. So any changes before today, I don't care about. I don't need an email. I can see that in my schedule. But anything that's happening while I'm on the driving range, I'll get an email about that, because maybe your calendar is open all the way up to an hour before the, before the booking. So it's good to be on the range and be notified that I, I got a new booking uh, along the way. Uh, you can set up rights for each, each user, give them names. You can, add, you can uh, give them a member number if they have one in, in, uh, in the golf box system. Uh, you can even make the birthday public. I don't really know what we use it for, but uh, then someone can come and say happy birthday if they book a, a tea time. And then we can decide for each of the pros, we can decide uh, their calendar interval uh, um, and what the players will see. So, so um, a lot of pros are moving away from just teaching half an hour um, and they offer at least an hour. Uh, but a lot of pros are also still just teaching maybe 25 minutes. So, so they, they can change it to whatever they want to be shown uh, in, in the cal calendar interval. But the players may have another interval they see. So we can di differentiate on that. And then, like the tea time booking, we can say, well, my calendar opens at 7. And, and here you want to say, whatever time during the season is the earliest I ever work and the latest I ever work, I set that up in my calendar. And then I use either uh, something we call availabilities to say whether I'm working in those hours or not. Um, because it doesn't have to be uh, that you're working every day at seven o'clock, but maybe you have just a few days a week where you are. So we set it up so we can we, we can make it possible to be booked. You choose what day you start in and you choose when can the players actually see your calendar. Because you may be working during the winter and you're setting up everything, but you don't want the players to be able to book or see anything in my calendar until April 1st. But you're working already in, in January, so you can go in and say, well, we're not opening up until April 1st, and then we're closing again when it becomes winter at the end of September. You can add some links to Facebook and other stuff in here. Um, other, lots of fun stuff. Um, you can control equipment if you have uh, if you have a TrackMan or if you have a what's the other one? Uh, uh, what do they call all those things? The measures, all that uh, flight scope and, and all that. You can control that. You can have a simulator that, that you, can, uh, you can set up in the system and, and control. You can even have booking just on simulators through the system where you, where you can sell one hour, two hour, three hour uh, sessions uh, where they just play uh, on, on the simulators or maybe, maybe, it's a, maybe it's a lesson on the simulator with the pro. You can set that up as well. You can add uh, merchant payment information. Let's see if I actually have Borgen in there. Uh, this is not a uh, an I Icelandic, so it will not have uh, Borgen. Uh, no. Uh, you can, if your club is not using golf box, or if the pros are not using golf box, but they are a separate uh, driving range or something like that, they have a web shop. A web page and they want to embed all the available times they can take the the calendar or the the, uh, the available times out of the the system and embed them directly into the to the web page by by a script as well uh, you can have you can have a you can have actually three things you can have a lesson guide that will say on this day what's available for the, for the pros available in in this uh, shop um, and it will just show you whatever is available, maybe 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Like when you go to the hairdresser and book a, book a, a hair, I don't go there as often, but I heard that they have websites where you can do that. Um, and you can also have a login box directly to, so, the, so the players can log into your license uh, from your web page. Uh, 
if your pros are using uh, are in a club that are using golf box, it's not as necessary because the players will go into golf box. They will use, choose book a lesson and they will be taken directly to the to the pros of the club. And you can uh, you can even customize your your email setup if you want to put in logos or uh, or have different text, uh, different headers, and everything from the standard email. You can go in and play around with uh, everything like that. This takes a little bit to set up, but uh, when you've once you've done it, it looks uh, a little nicer than the standard emails. So once you set everything up in 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 the um, in the business unit area or the setup area. The important part comes in the calendar area because this is where I tell the whole world when am I actually working. So right now I've just selected, uh, I'll just select me, uh, and I have my calendar that I set up in, in the staff part, when do I open and when do I close. And if you can see there's some gray and some, some not gray areas, and everything that's not gray is what I call an availability. That's something we set up saying, this is where I'm available for the players to book me. Uh, and this can be set up weekly or it can be set up over the whole year, depending on how they work. Some pros travel a lot, so they have weekly availabilities and they change them all the time and set up new ones all the time because they travel. Or it can just be a, a yearly one where when you travel, you block the days that you're not working. Um, so the availabilities is, is is uh, quite uh, quite strong because it can also be set up for the trackmen and and the the staff uh, or the equipment and when we do that the equipment will get a calendar as well um, in my club they started something new where i can actually rent a, a trackman for the driving range without having a pro um, so I, I simply just go into the trackman's calendar and i can book a trackman for an hour and i'll pay right away and it will always be available for me but they only have one trackman, so it's the same trackman they use for lessons. So if uh, if if the pros is using uh, or having a trackman lesson, it will not be available for me to book. So so with the with the equipment uh, booking facility, then we can control that we're not overbooking anything. Uh, we set up some le lessons type, and this is uh, this is what I call uh, what does the pro sell. Uh, when I started playing golf 20 years ago, I could get a half an hour lesson or 20 minute lesson or whatever, and that, that's what I could get with my pro. I could not get a, a bunker lesson or a long iron lesson or a driver lesson or potting lesson or anything like that. The pros are at so much more advanced uh, nowadays that they uh, specializing into in different areas and they want to show the players what they sell so they can name all the different lessons um, uh, they can name it whatever. Let me just make sure I'm in English. Yeah. Uh, they can name it whatever they want to sell the 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 students. So so maybe there's a trackman lesson for an hour. Maybe there's a trackman lesson for for another hour. Maybe there's a flight school le lesson if they have both of them. Uh, maybe there's just a half an hour potting lesson. Uh, and you know exactly what it is you're booking uh, when when you book book the lessons uh, uh, while you do it. So lessons type can be a very few, 20 minute lesson. 30-minute lesson, 60-minute lesson, or it can be more advanced if you sell a lot of things. You can also have group lessons where you can uh, where you can set up. Uh, this is group lessons for uh, one to ten players. It's on on May 23rd, uh, and there's no repetition. Uh, that means it's just one single group lesson, uh, but it could be a beginner's uh, group lesson where you have five lesson, uh, five sessions in the same group lesson. So, so you create the group lesson, you sign up uh, for one group lesson, but you signed up for all five of them. So all this can also be set up in the system uh, to, to do, do it like that. If I just go back to the calendar, the pros have the option of booking themselves, of course, and, and that's uh, easily done. You click on a time, you choose whether it's a lesson or group lesson or blocking. Um, you choose, if it's a lesson, what minutes, uh, what type of lesson is it you want to book, uh, and if it's available, it will. if there's time available for this lesson type, it will be in the list, and if there's no room because someone else is booked uh, right next to it, then it will only show the ones that, it can, that you can sell. So if, if, uh, if I go down, go down here, I can only sell 
a 30 minute lesson. So the other ones I can't book, the ones are longer than 30 minutes. You can also easy as an admin say, uh, uh, this guy, he calls in and says uh, he actually can't, uh, he can't make it at eight o'clock, can we move it to nine? So you can, as an admin, easily drag and drop the system so it will give you a new time. Um, and you can uh, color all these and make a blocking. Um, and this is just a quick blocking. So now, now we just, uh, something happened and I had to leave and get my kit. So I just block everything and no one, no one really knows what happened, I just need to be able to close my calendar uh, in the system. So once we set ev everything like this up and you put in your, your blocking, you put in your lunch, you put in everything, uh, all your uh, junior uh, sessions and, and all that, you'll have a lot of uh, available free times. And, and this is where it becomes really good for the players to, uh, to use uh, the system. In my club, we have three pros, uh, I think maybe four, three uh, at the moment. So when I log into Golfbox, I can immediately see if there's anything available uh, f for them. Not in this first picture here, but I get presented. So I get like a presentation of, of the pros in my club already when I'm into Golfbox. So the, the most two important things I do as a player is I book a tee time or I uh, imp uh, report my scores or I book a pro. So, so here I can uh, change it to English. So you can understand a little bit of it. Here I can either choose to go directly to my pro uh, or, or see what they have of group lessons. Uh, I can go into just uh, the lesson area uh, if I want to do that. In my club, we have two locations. We have one in Silkeborg and one 15 kilometers away. So the first thing I'm, I'm being asked when I, as a player, uh, single sign on over to the pro planner system is, where do I want the lesson? Do I want it uh, in Silkeborg or in, or in Rue? And if I want it in Silkeborg, I can choose which one of the pros do I want to, to have lessons with. And if I don't care, I just want someone that's available because I shank. And that's a true story that happens every once in a while. Then I'll just choose all uh, pro trainers uh, and there's not an anti-shank. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably take a video lesson so I can figure out what, uh, what, what's wrong with my, my swing when I shank. So, Video lesson on this date, I can choose another date because they're not, not here. It will actually sh tell me who or what days there's someone available in, in the system. So I, I'm not looking for anything on the 14th because there's nothing. I look on the, on the 11th. And this guy, the head pro, he's not available. I actually know he's at the, at the PGA conference uh, on this day. But this guy, he's not at the conference, so he will be available uh, um, for me to book and this is only what he has available uh, so something between 1.30 and 3.30 well he's doing something else there uh, or busy with other lessons so they won't be available for me and I can be curious and look and see if there's anything further ahead and they're not working much in the winter in, in, in the nightclub I can see uh, so now we're getting into uh, March uh, April so now they're starting to to be a little more normal. Um, and because I chose Silkeborg, these days he's probably working in the other location and that's why he's not available in Silkeborg. So, so um, I always get as a player a very good overview of what I can do and see for the pros uh, that we have in, have in, in my club. Um, and I can even as a player, if I don't want to use the pros in my club, I can search for for pros in other clubs, I can search if I know someone by name I would like to, uh, to book with or I can search uh, by, uh, by searching for the club name, I will find them if they have someone there. So this one, this one is really, really good. Uh, now because it's winter, of course he hasn't set up anything yet. He's not working until uh, April either and he hasn't set anything up so he's not available. He has nothing available uh, for me to book. Um, if I go back to my um, my own club, I can I can see what they have of group lessons. My club is uh, is really good at, at doing group lessons in the winter, and, and we have a little indoor facility, and they are really really good at at, uh, at doing that. So I can go in and see what what kind of group lessons do they have, and they have a new one that's called uh, Go to Golf, uh, where they have 
a very little team of, of four to six, uh, uh, or four to five, uh, up to five. Um, and they do this every day of the week almost, uh, it looks like it, or at least a couple of times a week. And I can simply go in and say, well, I would love to, to go to golf on Mondays um, and just subscribe to that. And there's a price and it tells me the dates that, that I have to go to golf in and I'll just uh, sign up. And I don't know if we have uh, online payment, I think we do. So if I go into this and I actually go all the way through uh, and pay this, uh, I would be signed up. Uh, this is on the live system, so I'll, I'll uh, and I don't want to go to golf. I just, uh, I know I'm bad, so I'll just uh, keep being bad. Um, but then he has paid right away, and, and you're ready to, to uh, participate in the class. Um, what else is there? Yeah, they can, they, as, as I said, they, they can control everything from, from the lessons, the group lessons, the blockings. Uh, uh, they can even set up a, a shop schedule in here where, where they have uh, the option saying, uh, maybe the clerk is always in the shop, unless when, when the clerk has to do something else, they will go into the clerk's schedule and they will block out where, where the clerk is not working. And then they set up the schedule for, for the pros to be in the shop. So maybe there's a rank. The head pro is always last. He's always the last guy to be in the shop. Uh, the two assistants, they will be first. And when the clerk is not available, the first assistant will be chosen to be in the shop. But if someone books a lesson uh, for the clerk or for the assistant, the next guy on the list will be assigned to the shop, all the way down to where there's no one that can be assigned, uh, where there's just one guy left. There will always be one guy left in the shop uh, to handle that. So, so all that can be set up as well in there uh, in the system. Uh, you can have an overview of multiple pros if you have if you have that, and and you can keep seeing. See, if this guy over here hasn't set up his. Uh, his uh, availabilities, uh, so nothing will be able to be booked from players from him, but they will from, from the other pros. So we, don't, we don't like him. And we can also have a, a calendar for the trackman. This is, this is just the trackman. There's no, there's no pros involved in this one, so, so this is when a player, if there's a lesson type, of course, available for the player to be able to book a trackman, uh, then he can come in and, and, and book it, and he can actually also rent it uh, for, the, for those hours he, he, um, he booked it. Uh, today. Yeah, so I'm glad I was in last year because uh, in, in the setup there's, there's nothing, they're, they're still on winter holiday uh, in, in the system. In Denmark, a lot, of, uh, a lot of places are starting to build those indoor centers where they have maybe a few, few mats and driving, uh, driving range Thing is, it looks like a drying range, but you can only hit it five meters. Uh, but they, during the winter, they get so much more less, uh, so many more lessons because of that. Because they can say, I don't have to close down when the driving range close down. I can offer them training indoor because it's technique, and we do not need to see the flight flying or the ball flying very far. So, so by making another location at the indoor center, they they start uh, increasing the, the revenue uh, a lot in, in here. Um, two years ago, we did a huge study of uh, 40,000 golf players where we, because we have a golf box with the, uh, with the handicap system and we have the, the pro planner, we could take out uh, 40,000 players and we could see how many had lessons and how many didn't have lessons and what it did to the handicap. And if you had two or more lessons, you were uh, I think it was 68% guaranteed to have a lower handicap. Uh, so it was quite significant to see that the pros actually help. Um, which, which, and if you had zero lessons, you, there was like 30% that would have a higher handicap. So, so it was quite a, a good study. Uh, I'll find, uh, maybe I'm, I'm a little wrong with the numbers, but I'll find it, it uh, I have it available to send it to you. Um, because it was quite an eye-opener that lessons really helped that much. I know the pros knows it already, uh, but for me it was really, wow, it, it really does help to, to go to the pro. Um, I don't know if you, if you downloaded the, the app, uh, but just like, 
just like in Golfbox where it's available to go directly from here, it's also available in the app uh, to book. Uh, and it will be exactly the same thing. You will go in, uh, there's, a, there's a book training or book pro planner or whatever it's called in, in, in Icelandic. And you can click on that and it will take you, do you want the lessons or do you want a group lesson? And it will take you directly to uh, what I have, uh, what the same thing I had available here. I can book any of my pros through the app as well. Um, which is quite uh, quite handy because whenever I need a lesson, it's right after I played, or at least when I want to book a lesson, it's right after I played and I come in and I shank the whole round. The next day, I'm very good at telling myself, uh, I can fix this myself. Don't worry, I don't need the pro. But if I can book him right after I leave the round, then the chances are I do that is much higher. And I think it's it's like that with most people. Uh, especially in this uh, online world that we live in. Um, there are some reports uh, as well where you can go in. Uh, if, for instance, if it's a club that uh, hires the pros, they can keep a, an eye on and extract uh, different reports. How many lessons do you have? How many blockings do you have? Maybe some. T maybe you don't create it as a, as a group lesson when it's a, it's the juniors that you're responsible for, but you're able to ex extract all data from the system so the clubs can always see what are the pros we hired, what are they actually doing through the whole year. Uh, and the same thing if you're if you a single, uh, what do you call it, an independent pro, you can uh, take out reports to say well, how much uh, revenue did I make uh, in the system. There's also an option to uh, to sell uh, value cards, and if you do something where you have, uh, maybe you have, maybe the what's a typical lesson cost? Three thousand. Three thousand half an hour. Five thousand half an hour. Wow, you're good. Ah, that's about the same. Okay, yeah. So, so, so you 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 sell um, maybe you maybe you sell uh, ten thousand worth of of uh, of uh, or five thousand. So maybe you sell ten lessons worth of money. So it's fifty thousand. But you maybe you get two extra. So you you pay fifty thousand, but you get sixty thousand in value. You can set that up in, in the value cards. Um, and every time they book a tea time, instead of uh, a lesson, instead of choosing to pay with the credit card, they pay with the value card. And the amount will just be deducted uh, when they have their lessons um, or group lessons. And when the, when the money expires, they will go back down to zero and they can come back in and, and buy a new one. There's two ways to, to sell the players a, a value card. If you have, um, if you have uh, integration with Borgen, they can actually go in, buy the, the, the value card that you allow them. There's one called visibility, uh, visible for players. The ones that they can see, they can buy online if we have uh, payment integration uh, enabled. And you don't even have to, to, to sell anything for them. You just make some good deals for them and they, they start buying them instead of buying individual lessons. Um, and you can also not show them to the players and they have to go through the pro shop or, or to the pro to buy the different uh, value cards to pay with. So, so you, ha you, have, you have the different options to do. Uh, you can also show them what kind of uh, uh, value cards you have, but if you don't have payment integration, they will just be told you have to go to the pro to buy the value card. Uh, so, so many, many different uh, options. If I go in here, I think my, my pros they have different uh, different cards that they offer, so they have a. So that's five thousand krona. That's a lot. So that so a value of five thousand kronas, I, I only pay thirty nine hundred fifty four. So I, I I actually feel I get something, actually a lot extra if I buy value cards instead of buying uh, single single lessons. Uh, so I think they sell quite a lot of those, and you can see. They, uh, you can see the pros that the value cards actually work for. Um, and this one even works if I want to book the trackman. 
I can uh, I can use my value card for that as well. Yes. Any questions? It can be quick then. <laughs> um, on ProPlanner.gov, it's possible to, to go in and try the system completely for free with no uh, obligations. There is one thing, if it's in trial mode, you cannot interact with the clubs. Uh, so if you want to see how it works with the players and everything, then we just need to uh, uh, take it out of trial so you can test it. Uh, and then we can always take it back out again if, if you don't like it. So anyone who wants to try it, more than welcome to do that. And, um, and we, we have some videos of how to get started uh, in the help section for, for the pro planners and those different guides as well. They are in English, uh, most of them. Um, so, so there's uh, quite, a, quite a few good guides for that. Yeah. Just, just like I could choose one, uh, like you saw, I chose the pros, one, two, three, and I could choose all of them. Then you'll be able to choose all and see whatever has something available. So if you have, now they don't have a. Yes, the, the, what we've done with the app is we integrated this, uh, this here. Um, so th this, they look exactly the same when you change the size. So, so this small view here is what we integrated into the app. So, so it's the exact same thing they, they see in there. Um, so if I just, uh, so let me just start over from here. from the start. So if they are placed at a different location, you will be asked, I said, that, uh, do you want something at the golf club or at the other location? And when you choose the place, your, your simulators will be down here as well. Uh, to able, so you'll be able to choose the pros or the simulators, or you can say all see all simulators or see all pros. So it will be the exact same thing as choosing all pros, but just you choose simulators. Um, and then you can choose, I would probably set simulators up with one hour, two hours, three hour, and four hour um, uh, lesson types, because then you can book two hours and you pay for them right away. And you see whatever is available for two hours uh, right away. So just like, like this, you'll be able to see uh, on that date, there's nothing available, so let's just go to this date. So you see, uh, he, oh, it's a student, sorry. You, you'll be able to see all the, on, on the week or uh, whatever there's room for. On the app, it will show you daily, uh, but on here you can see the whole week and you can see whatever is available for everyone uh, on, all the, on all the simulators. So if I've chosen a four hour time and there are spots in between and there's no four hour times available, it will not give me a time. If I choose a one hour, it will give me all the one hour times available. And you can set up your lesson type so you book a pro and a, a simulator at the same time if it's available. So it could be a, a, a lesson with the pro in the simulator. A lot of the simulators have driving ranges and not just the, the, the courses, uh, the games they play. Uh, so you can actually do a lesson on the driving range simulator uh, and it will block uh, both of them uh, so, so it can't be double booked. Remind us, can they both be SMS as well as... Currently only email. Only and email. Yes, and it's because the cost will have to go on to the, to the pros and... and it's not, it's not very expensive, but they can get a lot of text messages during the whole year. 
uh, so it can add up and and everyone has to have an email anyway so we we decided that we just wanted to do uh, text messages uh, emails We only charge for the number of pros and places. So there's three, three different license types. There's basic, one pro, one, less, uh, one place. Uh, so how many lessons, how many other staff you have, does not matter. And then we add, if you have 10 pros, I think we add 100 euro per over five per pro. So. And and the prices not, when when you're in Ireland in Iceland you can uh, as as the pro if you're in in the system you can click on uh, the license and you can see the different prices. So in Denmark there's just one one price one license we we don't sell anything else. Um, uh, in in the rest of the world there are the three different uh, types that that uh, we sell. No, they they uh, they sign up themselves. Yeah. If if they have if they have a pro planner, uh, they will appear. Otherwise, you will get into pro planner and can search for other pro pros. Then you should. Uh, then there's a pro planner app that that they need to download, and then they need to sign up as a customer for the pro, and then they u just use the app. They can't they can't use the regular golf box app for anything if you're not a member of a golf club. But then you download the pro planner app, or just go into the web page. It's the same. It, it's it's embedded into the app, but but uh, a non golfer cannot log into the to the uh, normal golf box app. Any questions? Are there any clubs using this only for the uh, example thing and for the simulator? In Norway, there's a few, but I think they also combine it with the pros. But in the winter, just simulators. Yeah. But the normal, uh, the normal golf box. We ha we have one in 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 Aalborg. We have one guy uh, who's who's not a pro who bought the license to to sell. Uh, I think he has five simulators. So he has a he has a place just with simulators, and everyone can uh, go and play there. And he bought the license for just simulators. But the normal golf box, the registration of tea times for that stuff that you have only during summer. Is there anyone using that for registration of simulator times? Ye yes, but it's very restricted. There there is some that, that are using resources, uh, but they can only book either thirty minutes or an hour, and they, if they want to play four hours, they have to book four hours in a row. But it is possible as well. I would probably have a new location, but you can change the name. Well, if you have already two two locations and you want to add a third, then it would co cost extra. But if you if you have a location uh, and you change it to Spain for the month you're away, then it doesn't cost extra. So, yeah, you can just you can just go in and change change the name. Or if you have a place that you're not using during the winter, you can delete it and you can create the new one. Uh, you can just only have two at a time unless you buy the advanced. So but but extra, yes, but there's nothing wrong with going in here and changing uh, it to Spain and then removing the the connection to the golf club. And then they can have different colors in the calendar, so so they you can see see what the difference is. So. No problem, no problem in that. And that's completely free. <laughs>